In this video, I will go over the ankle stress exam and the different ways you can complete this task. Again, this is another topic to be familiar with, both because you may be asked to perform a stress test down in the emergency department while on rotation, but also because it is something you are bound to see at some point and may be asked about it. To start off, stressing an ankle is a maneuver done to assess the ligamentous stability of the ankle. When stressing the ankle, you are assessing the deltoid and syndesmotic ligamentous complexes. One way to stress an ankle is through a manual stress test. For this, you are going to want to obtain a mortise view radiograph of the ankle. Then while holding the leg in a fixed position, dorsiflex and externally rotate the foot and obtain a second radiograph. Or this could be done under fluoro to see it live. Either way, you are assessing the medial clear space for widening and for lateral tailor shift, which you can see here on this positive stress exam. You may also be able to appreciate change in the tip fib overlap and widening there as well. It is reported that a medial clear space change of more than 5 millimeters and more than 2 millimeters of lateral tailor shift is significantly correlated with an unstable ankle joint. Another way to stress an ankle is through the so-called gravity stress test in which you have the patient hang the weight of their foot off the side of the bed with the lateral portion of their foot facing the floor. You would then obtain the same x-rays as before, again assessing for the changes in the medial clear space. And just as a quick side note, I would also like to mention the importance of looking at the contralateral ankle if possible, as tip fib overlap and overall bony anatomy can differ from patient to patient. Alrighty, I hope that you will be better prepared and will now be more confident to get involved with ankle stress exams on rotation. That is all for this quick overview of the ankle stress exam. See you all in the next one.